The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, was established on July 29, 1958. It began with a mission to pioneer the future in space exploration, scientific discovery, and aeronautics research. These are not the only things that NASA has developed. Since its beginning, technology has been a major player in its missions. In turn, NASA has advanced and developed some of the best technologies on the planet. NASA's motto is, for the benefit of all. This holds true since much of what NASA develops works its way into the civilian sectors of business. Information technology is no different. With the growing importance of information technology, NASA has jumped on the bandwagon. In its humble beginnings in the 1960s, NASA utilized the most advanced mainframe computers of the time. Today, most household PCs pack more computing power than the mainframe computers in the 1960s. However, they got the job done and it got us to the moon. Now, IT is found in every part of NASA's missions. It can be involved in projects such as materials research, software, guidance systems, monitoring systems, scientific experiments, and data analysis. The list goes on and on. One of the most recent projects was employing IT to analyze what caused the Space Shuttle Columbia to break apart. This analysis includes wing load assessments, materials analysis, and simulated airflow modeling. Perhaps the most complex recent use of IT at NASA has been the integrating of systems across the organization. NASA uses many operating systems such as Windows, Macintosh, and Unix. These programs are being stovepiped and the results are extremely beneficial. According to Brian Dunbar, sharing technology and working together as a single organization is one of the most important uses of information technology at NASA. Previously, several different financial systems were used in NASA for human resources, purchasing, payroll, travel, and others. Now, an integrated financial management program, also known as IFMP, is used. It replaced over 145 different systems across the organization. The integration has been far from simple. NASA is very complex. They have developed a single email system that is capable of trafficking over 530,000 emails per day going to 38,000 email accounts. There are 80,000 desktops, 3 WAN networks with 6 million IP addresses, and 80 connections to different internet service providers. With this much information, it is clear that IT is a priority. NASA devotes 13% of its budget to information technology, which is $2.2 billion. There are currently four space centers across the nation in Texas, Florida, Alabama, and California. 34 data centers are scattered across these sites. The goal is to eventually have only one data center per space center. One of the most important elements of the integration has been the hiring of CIOs, or Chief Information Officers. CIOs were not in existence until about 10 years ago. They are responsible for data centers, communications, infrastructure applications, and end-user integration. A CIO's job is to manage institutional IT, program IT, and mission directorate. While integration has been very important, information security has also risen as a top concern for the agency. The NASA IT Security, also known as ITS, watches projects for vulnerabilities, seeks to reduce barriers to cross-center collaboration, and offers economical IT security service. ITS provides information integrity, confidentiality, and availability. In addition, it utilizes a program that performs audits and reviews to make sure that security and privacy are meeting the bar set for them across the organization. With vast amounts of information involved in business today, a strong IT infrastructure is vital to the success of an organization. NASA recognizes this and is taking steps in the right direction. Their focus on integrating systems and information security will keep them at the top of one of the foremost agencies of new discovery and space exploration. There is no doubt that NASA will continue to grow and stick by its adage for education, shaping the future, launching new endeavors to inspire the next generation of explorers.